Gary, we'll start with uh, the bad news for Jordan Cranston. Was that what you were fearing when you were speaking to uh, to Pete on Saturday? Yeah, it's always what you fear until you you, know, you don't really know the extent of an injury and until you get a MRI scan. And uh, you know we knew that was coming, and all you hope is when it comes back, it's it's good news because it's only three or four weeks. But obviously this was the the worst news uh, for us and for Jordan, of course, um, because it's a it's a long term injury, and uh, he would be a difficult one to to replace. And there's been a maturity about his play and his performances this season. Is there a maturity that can now help him deal with that as well? Yeah, I think so. I th he, he was he was very disappointed when he, when he was told, of course, because he knows that you know, this was an important year for him. It's it's the year that he's where he you can go home after training, after games, knowing that you've cracked it. You know, you've got your game going, you've got your confidence. Um, the lads respect you, the supporters now respect you, you know, and the press respect you. You know, it's like um, one minute you're in a really good place and the next minute you're not. And, it, and, and for a footballer, you have to be uh, yeah, ready to, to take all that and uh, hopefully he is. Apart from that incident and his injury, I suppose what you're looking for is the same again, same hunger, same desire with the performance this week away at the league leaders. Yeah, well... They haven't lost at home, I don't think. Um, well, they haven't uh, in the league. And so, of course, it'll be a difficult game. But it's one that uh, most of the bookies will have Notts County as the favourites. So uh, we can go there as the underdogs, no real pressure. Uh, we're not going to muck up. Well, we hope to muck up a few coupons. But, um, you know, we, we, we hope that we can go there and produce a game that gives them a... A good game, and if we can pick up three points, I think we've. I said this about Luton last week. I think we're actually ahead of Notts County at the moment on the last eight games, um, as far as points are concerned. So I'll show that to the lads and say, look, form-wise, uh, you're above them. So let's believe that we can go there and get a result. And what is it they? Do that has got them to the start of the uh, yeah, the top of the table because presumably you know their, their start was obviously better than yours. That's why they're they're yeah. up there. But you know they've obviously kept that going pretty well. Yeah, they have. Well, they they managed to you know to get a a good experienced team for this level early, same as Luton. Um, and uh, as you say, they got going. They started well, and they've kept that going. And they've got a good squad. So any injuries they they get, they can bring in quality first team players sort of thing, you know, so that always helps if you've got that you know, 20 odd first team players. But you look at how Cheltenham have raised themselves, you think when you took, took on Wickham and you know, they were top five last week against Luton, so you know, you're doing alright against those top teams aren't you? Yeah, Mansfield, Swindon, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing alright and, and that's what I'll be reminding them in our meetings today and tomorrow. Um, that we, we mustn't fear anything, we've got to go there, play our game, because our game seems to be uh, causing the top teams a, a problem. We talked about Jordan, how big an opportunity is this for Danny Lowe Shotmancy? Presumably he'd be the next in line. Yeah, he, he is, and uh, I'm pleased for him really. You know, I'm very sad with Jordan, but I'm pleased because Dan's been unlucky with, uh, with, because of Jordan's good form. Um, and and he's, you know, he's worked so hard, he's, Kept in there. He hasn't been knocking on my door every other day, and uh, you know he's kept quiet. But he's gone about his work and he's deserved his chance. And and what I've noticed in the reserve games as well as the, the first team games that he's played, he, he puts all all his effort into these games. So I'm I'm, I'm pleased he's got his chance for him, and uh, it's up to him now to uh, have a good you know, uh, second part of the season to. Uh, Make sure that he, he keeps his place. I suppose make sure that you know you might not buy someone in January as well, and sort of you know put down a statement there. Yeah, well, exactly. I mean, that's a footballer's life. Always, you, when you think things are going well and you're in the team, suddenly the manager brings in another person to compete for your position, uh, and we probably have got to do that because we've you know, we've got to have two two people at least if we can to compete for every every position. Apart from Jordan, obviously 
and treatment room. Everyone else okay? Yeah, um, yeah. Every, well, yeah, we've got a couple of niggles, uh, as always, as you do. Um, and we're just waiting for a couple more days to see who's actually 100% uh, fit. I don't really want to put out there who might not be fit. Um, but anyway, we've got a couple of niggles. We'll have to wait and see how they come through.